Quang Huai Li. Today we talk about the Chinese horseshoe back Quang Huai Li folding hunting chairs. The masters of the house would take these chairs out on the hunting trips, and of course the servants would have to carry the chairs. These chairs have a long-standing tradition in China. The name Huang Huai Li actually means yellowing flowering pear. So when you're talking about these chairs, the finest rosewood is a yellowish brown color. Now these chairs are not the finest quality because the color is not there and we'll talk about some other things. Now, what does it mean? the horseshoe back. Well, as you've already noticed, where your arms set, that railing looks like a horseshoe. Now, let's look at the bottom here. You notice the bottom is square shaped. Where you sit is square. And of course, where you put your feet, that folds up. Because these chairs are foldable. Like I said, the servants would carry them out into the field when the master was hunting. Bam, you see, he made this chair. Bam, he made it with quality. Yes, when it comes to quality Chinese furniture like this, the Chinese take pride in fine craftsmanship. Quality made. Like here, you see, normally there would be a brass uh, support right here, just like the one on the top, right? This one's missing it. See that right there? See that brass support? There'd be a brass rod underneath that, normally in the high, more higher quality chairs. And we look at the bottom here, and we can see that there's a little damage and also the craftsmanship is not as great as you'd see on some of the antique pieces. You got to imagine that these chairs go all the way back to the beginning of the Ming Dynasty. Now, look, we got a little crack here. See the, all the brass trim? That's the sign of a good quality chair when you have fine brass craftsmanship and of course the ones with age will be hand hammered brass. So let's take a good long look at it. You see you have a dragon on the back. Normally it's a dragon motif. Really beautiful chair. Let's talk about the spirit of the chair because you can some things can be changed in these uh, Huang Huai Li chairs. Some things you can change but other things have to be the same. We're talking about tradition here. For example when an artist or a chair maker in China, if he decides to make a subtle change here or there in a chair, that's okay, but the spirit must not change, okay? For example, when we're talking about the base of where the seat, where you sit there, that should be square. Now you notice the horseshoe shape of the, uh, the round back there and where the arm sets. You notice there's, it's a horseshoe back chair, horseshoe. Now, what does that represent? The, that shape represents the sky. In Chinese tradition, the sky is round. But in Chinese traditional view, the land is square. So where you sit must be square and the sky is round. So at the top of the chair must be round, oval-like, horseshoe shape. But where you sit must be square when we're talking Chinese traditional view. So, like I said, there's some small little details that you can change, like the brass and where the feet go and some of the uh, support structures. But all in all, when you're talking about a fine Huang Huai Li chair, you must stick with tradition. Of course, a yellowish brown color, the finest rosewood, is what you're looking for. These chairs, like this example here, this pair here, could go anywhere from three to five thousand dollars, and of course they go all the way up to millions of dollars. When you find the finest quality chair, it can easily go into uh, single-digit million-dollar numbers. Yeah.